What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna talk about the brand new killer in Dead by Daylight the Knight. We are going to talk about how to counter this killer and all the tips that you can do to play better against him. Now quick note guys this killer is brand new he's not even out on the live servers yet he's only on the PTV so anything that I say might change from now until he's actually released. Now if you guys don't mind the one thing I will ask from you is to subscribe to the channel we are almost at 3000 subscribers and we're trying to hit that before the end of the year. So let's get started guys, anytime that we do one of these videos on how to counter a killer, we always start with the basics. This killer has a standard attribute, his movement speed is only 4.6 meters per second and his terror radius is at 32 meters. So basically his movement speed and his terror radius are just like the trapper. His first perk is called Hubbers. Whenever you are stunned by a survivor, that survivor suffers from the exposed status effect for 20 seconds. Now imagine this perk on the nurse, kinda crazy. His second perk is called Hex Face the Darkness. When this killer injures a survivor, a dull totem will become a Hex Totem. When this Hex Totem is active, all other survivors outside of the killer's terror radius will scream intermittently revealing their auras for 2 seconds. So that can be very convenient but at the same time, it's intermittently so I don't know how well that's gonna work. We'll talk about his last perk here in a second, but I want to give you the first tip on how to counter this killer properly. So you know when he sends one of his little minions to go and follow you just like this fat guy here? The way he activates his power is by slamming his sword down onto the ground. And when he does this, he also leaves behind this little banner that if you go to it and touch it, his minion will disappear. The knight's last perk is called Nowhere to Hide and be careful with this perk because the way it works is whenever he damages a generator, he reveals the auras of all survivors standing within 24 meters for 5 seconds. So yes guys, he can see if you're hiding while you're doing a generator so just be very careful. Now the guards that this killer summons are able to break generators, break walls and also follow you and hit you if they're close to you. But they, you have to be in line of sight for them to be able to chase you. So if you're hiding behind the wall, they shouldn't be able to notice that you're there. Now pay attention to this guys, this killer summons the three guards in the same exact order every time. The first one is the Carnifex, who can break or damage objects faster than the other ones. The second one is the Assassin, who moves faster during the hunt, you know, faster than the other ones. And the Jailer, who patrols longer and is better at detection. Now before I tell you the main tip on how to counter this killer properly, the main thing that's gonna help you out, the main thing that's gonna change your view on this killer and make you think that he's actually not that great, I'm gonna ask you to please smash the like button if you made it this far into the video. Okay guys, so here's the trick. This killer plays basically like the artist. And what you're gonna do is every time that he puts his sword down and activates his power, just hold W. Hold forward, just run away. This killer is very good at anti-looping, meaning that if you stay in the same loop, what's gonna happen is he's gonna activate his power and both the killer and the minion are gonna come from different ways and you will get hit. But if you hold forward when he act activates his power, it's going to give you a lot of distance and you're gonna be able to make a lot more time before you get hit by the killer. Remember guys, whenever you're being chased by the killer, whether it's this one or a different one, what you want to do is waste the killer's time as much as possible. Because you're not repairing generators yourself, what you want to do is make sure that everybody else has the most time possible to do those generators while you're being chased. As time passes and this killer becomes available to everyone, I'm sure that we're going to find more ways to counter him and more ways to last longer in chases, but for now I hope that this helps you out, and if it does, smash the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, if you're new around here if you want to see more content like this, and that's it for me guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, on to the next one, take care. Still go, go, go.